Is attachment strangling love in your life? Hi everyone, Robert Zink, Miracle Mentor and Alchemy Life Coach. And today we are soaring high, like a big, beautiful eagle, and we're flying in the direction of your dreams and goals. That's what this channel is all about. Your dreams, your goals, the law of attraction. Thanks for subscribing, and remember to click that bell icon. We're here all the time with new videos for you. Hi, Flyers. The love you desire will come into your life easier if you will let go and let it flow. If you will just simply, ah, oh, take that deep breath, let go and let it flow, the love that you desire will flow so much easier into your life. It's, it's sad, but so many people need to learn this the hard way. And it doesn't have to be that way. This can be easy. Having the love that you desire can be an easy experience. It doesn't have to be a difficult experience. It can be easy. So high flyers, people often ask me, well, if, if, if I let go, now we'll get into this in a moment. If I let go, that means uh, I'm, I'm never going to have the love that I desire. But that's, that's a big lie. Here's what you need to let go of. Let go of fear. Let go of doubt. Let go of when. When is it going to happen? When is this going to manifest? Let go of how. Let go of anxiety. Let go of anger. And most importantly, high flyers, let go of worry and let go of the past. You see, high flyers, too many people hang on to negative emotions, negative beliefs, and negative thoughts. And by hanging on to those, being attached, being attached to those thoughts and those beliefs that are false, that are limiting, that are filled with doubt and anxiety and fear, that's what hurts the flow of love into your life. Now listen to me very closely because I think this is really important. There's a balance, high flyers, between I don't give a bleep detachment. I just don't care. I just, doesn't make a difference to me one way or the other. There's a difference between that and visualizing the wish fulfilled. Now I believe contrary to what you have been told, attachment in and of itself does not create resistance. Here is the source of the resistance that you're running into. Attachment to limiting beliefs. Attachment to fears and doubts. Attachment to negative beliefs. You see the difference? On one hand, there's a there is there is attachment and on the other hand there's attachment to counter intentions when you are invoking the power of the law of attraction you are placing an intention it's like a farmer putting a seed in the ground now think about this if a farmer took a seed that's your intention and he placed it in the ground and then said, I don't care if it grows or not. I'm not attached to the outcome. Makes no difference to me. If it grows, it grows. If it doesn't grow, it doesn't grow. You see, I'm not against detachment. I believe detachment is powerful and it helps energy flow, but not to the point where you are allowing your intention, your seed to die in the ground. So one of the false beliefs people have, big false belief, big, 
one of the false beliefs people have is that letting go will hurt you. If I let go, it will hurt me from having the love that I desire. Think about it this way. When Warren Buffett makes a stock move, he puts a lot of intensity, a lot of intention, a lot of study into what move he's going to make. And then when he makes the move, he lets it go. Ah, the move's made. Enough said. I'm on to something else. I'm on to another stock move or to another acquisition. And it's the same thing in relationships and in love. You've got to, you've got to allow yourself the intensity to feel the wish fulfilled as Neville Goddard says, and then take a deep breath and roll over and go to sleep and let it go. Because once you start attaching to is it going to work? Will it work? Can it work? I wonder if it will work. Is love coming my way? Will I ever be loved? Will I ever have the person I love? Once you have all those attachments to negative limiting beliefs, that's the key. It's not attachment to your intention. It's attachment to the limiting beliefs. Now, this being said, when the farmer plants the seed in the ground, he or she waters the soil, pulls out the weeds, and just focuses on the process. And so when you take on a new intention in your life, particularly as it relates to love and relationships, you need to focus on the process on one hand. And on the other hand, you need to give time to the wish fulfilled. What does it look like? What does it feel like? How does it make you feel? Here's the process. Here's the wish fulfilled. And in the middle, you're just detached. You're just moving about your life, taking your life to the next level. I think this is very important and it's a little complicated to understand, but hey, you can always claim your 30 minutes of miracle mentoring and Alchemy Life Coaching by visiting us at lawofattractionsolutions.com. Okay, a little plug in there. There you go. The false belief, as I said, is that letting go will hurt you. You've got to let go. You've got to plant the seed and then let the seed germinate and grow on its own, in its own way. That doesn't mean you don't stand guard. That doesn't mean you don't pull out the weeds. That doesn't mean... You don't water it. That doesn't mean you walk away from it and ignore it. So how can you focus on your intention and what you desire and let go at the same time? Become more detached. One, put yourself back up on the pedestal. You see, you have the outcome on the pedestal or you have another person on the pedestal. Put yourself on the pedestal. Two, set specific times for meditation, visualization, affirmations, various rituals that you may do as they relate to the law of attraction. And in between those times, keep your mind focused on other things, on other areas of your life. In other words, become more detached. Number three is forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Forgive the situation. Whatever your condition or situation is, you need to forgive. I think this is important, High Flyers. Focus on who you are, not what you want. Become more of what you want to be. And your magnetism will grow and expand. And you'll automatically begin attracting the love that you desire into your life. And number five, in your own way, and I never tell people how, in your own way, connect to source energy every day. Remember, you are a co-creator of your reality. You work in partnership 
with the entire universe. So it's important to have a connection to your partner, God, source, spirit, whatever you want to call it. That daily connection is absolutely essential. Hey, thanks for subscribing. And here's some other videos to help you on your journey.